It's Tuesday, right? <laughs> Close enough. Okay. All right, guys, fire away. Uh, what did you just make of points in the paint and how you guys were able to dominate in that category? Well, I mean, I think usually, you know, it's one of our strengths. And, you know, you know, uh, defensively, you know, Colorado's a really good team that drive in the basketball. And, you know, they, they do a great job of, you know, getting down there and, and getting free throws, which they got a little bit today, which makes the points in the plate a little bit misleading. But, um, but you know, we obviously want to go inside. And then defensively, we want to protect the paint. I mean, it's nothing more complicated than that. Uh, was this one of those examples of where you're just going to let them figure it out those first five minutes when you fall behind by 10, 12 minutes? I mean, they, they got to figure it out better than that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, we're at home and you're playing in McHale and you have an experienced group that's won a lot of games. And, you know, I don't, I don't know if they need me calling a timeout and, you know, chewing them out, you know, two minutes into the game. I don't know if that's the smartest thing for our team. And maybe we can utilize that timeout, you know, better, you know, later in the half. And, um, and, you know, hey, we, they did write the ship because I think, you know, by the almost the second media timeout, I think we had kind of evened it up. And then, then once you even it up, you feel okay. But, you know, we, we got to start out better than that. I mean, we, we didn't play great tonight by any stretch. And Colorado gets some credit for that. And, you know, our, our guys have to take some accountability for that. And we got to play better. We got to play better. We got to play cleaner. We got to play tougher. We got to play smarter. The, the turnover specifically, did, I mean, do you trip that to maybe a little loose or careless or early? I mean, I, I mean the. the the, the the early ones I, they seem crazy to me. I don't know. So I mean, I don't know what to attribute them to. I mean, um, casualness. I mean, maybe. And um, and so we'll take a look at them and we'll evaluate them. And then you know we had some turnovers early. We had some turnovers late. And and you know not that not that you ever want to turn the ball over in a game, but I, I think you definitely don't want to turn it over early and you don't want to turn it over late. So something we got to address. So you do want to turn it over in the middle of the game? No. But, but, you know, I mean, you know, come on, logic. Let's get off to a good start. Let's finish strong. I mean, those two things. So, um, um, yeah, so we, we, got, we got to be better there. You were sitting a lot lately, the last few games. How, how has that allowed you to work the other guys in? Well, I mean, listen, I, it's, it's not part of the plan, Zoo sitting. And, and, and part of it maybe is a little bit bad luck and a little bit self-inflicted wounds by him. You know, he's got to be smarter. And, and he's got to play better. And, and he's had an amazing year. And, and, you know, I mean, I think he's the conference MVP. But, you know, I guess that, that'll be determined. You know, but, but we're, still, we're still fighting out this season. You know, I mean, the, at this point maybe, you know, there's still games to be played. You know, four games by some teams, three games by others. And, uh, and yeah, he's, he's got to play better. I mean, Zoo's got to play better. He's a really good player. And, and hopefully he'll figure it out here going forward. Has it allowed you to do other things with the yeah, team? Yeah, oh, that, that, that with the lineup. Um, yeah, I mean, I, so, hey, I mean, I'm always going to look at it as a blessing in disguise. I mean, that's how you have to attack it. And and we need to be, uh, yeah, we, we need to kind of diversify our lineups a little bit. And, you know, I mean, I, I think that, you know, playing small, you know, with four guards out there is, is good for us. And, and playing the five guards together, you know, for stretches can be good for us too. Do you think the extended kind of period of time until your next game, ASU, right, the Saturday game, Will help Azulis in terms of figuring some things I mean, out. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not worried about Zoo in particular. I mean, this, this is our all-star break. You know, we, we need a break. You know, we've been on a six or seven-week stretch of two games, and you know, kind of the same rhythm of practice. So we need a few extra days off this week to kind of refresh physically, mentally. You know, we need a few days of practices to work on Arizona, clean some stuff up, and uh, you know, we, we need to kind of you know try to tighten things up for the stretch run. Was this the Cedric you had hoped to see? Very aggressive. Just does a lot of things so well. I mean, Cedric's a good player, and, and, and I'm so proud of the way he's played for us, and, and we're so lucky to have him. And you know, what, what's funny is I, you know, I think I'm probably pretty hard on him in my head, you know, but but overall, I think he's played so well, you know, and and he impacts the game in so many ways. And I didn't even realize he had 15 points tonight. You know, I mean, if you would have made me guess, I probably would have said seven or eight. So that that really shows that he's playing well and impacting the game in a lot of simple effort areas, and uh, and and that's great to see. Similarly, uh, Pella Larson had 11 points on just two shots. I mean, yeah. that seems. Like I mean, Pella did a great job. You know, they, you know, they, he had some matchups where he had some advantages at, and felt like he could drive the ball, and uh, you know, and, and he got fouled. I mean, he does. He's doing a great job. I think he picked up eight fouls. You know, for a for a for a for a wing to pick up eight fouls in a game is is pretty significant. You know, because you know, not only is he getting free throws, it's getting us closer to the bonus. Do coaches take some time off in a one game week? For sure. No doubt about it. Yeah, I, I need a few days off myself, and, and there's no doubt about it. 
Sorry, how, how do you do that? Do Are you planning to take a couple of days or a bunch in a row, or, you know, mix it up? Or? Well, first off, for me personally, I'm, I'm going to go watch Lowry Markinen and Doma Sabonis play in the NBA All-Star game. Yeah. So, and then I'll come back Monday and probably hang out and hopefully my pickleball court's done in my backyard finally because this weather's been kind of holding that up. And and then I'll hang out at home and, you know, I, I might sneak in a little film, you know, in between then. And uh, and then, you know, we'll probably you give the players a couple days off and then we'll practice Tuesday and kind of evaluate from there where we're at. How was it having the guys back? It's awesome. I mean, they're, they're such great guys. And, and you know, it, I mean, it feels like they should should still be playing for us, you know, because they're obviously young enough to be playing for us. And they're just, we had so much fun with them and they're, they're so easy to be around. And, uh, you know, it's just really cool when you, you go in that locker room and you have, uh, you know, Justin, you know, DT, CeeLo, Ben, you know, all in there. And I gave them a hard time wondering, man, the lights at McHale must be pretty bright for all these sunglasses I'm seeing, you know. And then, and then Zeke. You know, adding him to the mix. So Zeke's the same age as a lot of these guys. And this him being in the locker room with us was really cool. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Zeke, I think, is going to be really involved in our program, you know, with his sister playing here now. And, you know, probably be spending a lot of time here in the offseason and working out with us, which is going to be really cool. Coach, with Kevin Durant coming to Phoenix, I came across that you coached against him when you were at Gonzaga and he was at Texas. Uh, just any memories of that? And, you know, are you well, I, I remember he was – He's extremely talented. I remember his arms were so long that he had a long sleeve, probably triple X shirt on that came up about halfway up his uh, forearms. And uh, I remember we kicked their ass. And, you know, I, I think we got him pretty good that day. And uh, Buddy Beat, he's an incredible talent. And I think it's really cool for the state of Arizona to, you know, obviously the, you know, the, the Suns had a great run last year. And, you know, hopefully we're, we're getting primed for another great run because it looks like they are. What were your thoughts on Kylan's technical foul? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, listen, I, I think our guys, you know, they, they're all feeling themselves a little bit on some of these things. I think they, they got to be smarter. You know, I mean, obviously, we, we, know, we know where the ref's sensitive spots are. You can't show up another player. You, you, you can't dunk and do a chin up. And, and so we just got to be smarter because right now, you know, it, it's about us. It's not about any individual. So, so we need if we make a great individual play, we can't negate it by, you know, doing an individual act. And, you know, it, it kind of it sucks because, you know, I mean, I think that those kind of things are good for the fans and, you know, bring some excitement to the game. But I also understand why they're trying to curb that type of stuff. So, um, um, you know, well, Kylan and I will talk about it. But, you know, Kylan's getting better and better and better. I mean, you can really feel his impact on these games. Do you feel like Umar is all the way back, to, you know, physically and everything? I mean, he, he, his energy and effort would show that today. And, yeah, I think he's been back for a while. I mean, I think, I think Umar, you know, you know, he had that one tough week, you know, the, when we had the Washingtons at home where, you know, he wasn't feeling well and had a few family issues happen that same week. But, uh, but he's kind of pulled through it, and he's great. I mean, for him to have, what, 18 and 16, I can't really see that. Is that right? Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so it, it, that, 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 those are big-time numbers. All right. What's Thanks. your just one thought? Uh, any thought about the early uh, the seeding, early reveal, or whatever, where you guys are a spot or two ahead of UCLA? I mean, I mean, kind of meaningless, and you know, um, and you know, I, I didn't feel like we played like that team tonight. So you know, we we obviously got to play better, and, and at the end of the day, it's just about getting better. And you know, if you if you stub your toe you know, you're going to be quick to fall. So, you know, let's hope we can, you know, learn from some of these games and continue to get better. And then, you know, you know, come Selection Sunday, we'll see where we end up. It seemed like maybe they put a lot of stock into your non-conference wins, Tennessee and Indiana. I hope so. I mean, we, I, I thought we, we, we had a, you know, a, an appropriate schedule for this team. And, you know, I thought we took advantage of our opportunities. And, you know, I mean, it, it, it's good to see them reward that. But, you know, we're, you know, you, you you know, what they did today doesn't have any real, you know, meaning to what's going to happen on Selection Sunday. So I'm, I'm really I, – I didn't even know, I, to be honest with you. I woke up and kind of did my own thing this morning and got ready for this game, and I didn't even watch it, and I, I think until, uh, you know, somebody told me when I kind of got down to the office this afternoon. All right. See you guys.